Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm playing a little bit of Uplink Live, and I wanted to show you how to record a live commentary just like this on an Elgato HD60 with the webcam, with the overlays, with the live audio and everything. I'm just showing you exactly how I made what I have right here today. Ooh, I'm trying to live here in this kind of chaotic spawn zone. And I'm going to be giving away an Elgato HD60 near to the end of the video, but first comes the tutorial. Let me show you how I built these overlays, how I set up the Elgato, and what is the easiest way to do live commentary. The first thing you want to do from your Elgato menu is you want to click on the options wheel. In the options wheel, we're going to go to the capture tab, make sure that we're saving the gameplay into a folder, just, you know, somewhere that you'll be able to find it easily. We're going to enable flashback recording, and we're going to keep the stream command enabled. Both of these are going to make your life easier when it comes to recording. We actually have to have the stream command. In the sharing tab, we always want to convert new video files into MP4, and we want to mix the following tracks, the webcam and the overlays, and the live commentary audio. If you want to, you can export export these to separate files for both the webcam and the live commentary audio and then edit them yourself later but I find that to be you know way too difficult and for the simple purposes we're just going to mix them together today and I'm going to show you the good audio balances. You'd hit OK, I'm going to hit cancel because I already have these settings in place. The next thing we want to do is we want to adjust the game audio over here. By default it's probably going to be a little bit loud, it's probably going to be at zero decibels. I put it on negative 18 decibels. This will mean that you can still hear your shotgun blast, you can still hear the gameplay but it won't drown out your voice. Then you want to click the commentary button, make sure that it's blue to turn that on, and select your microphone, make sure you've got the right one. I've got the Razer Siren microphone, and I set my audio at about negative one or negative two decibels. This keeps it from topping out and keeps it clearly louder than the game audio. You can also click the hammer and wrench button to automatically reduce game sound if you want to. That'll kind of like automatically mute the game audio when you talk, and you can set your own threshold and options, but I don't do that. I like to have the game audio at a constant constant volume and my voice at a constant volume that's always louder. The next thing we're going to do is talk about the stream command. If you click the little arrow on the left, that'll open it up or close it. Depending on how you have your set, it might be open or closed, but we're going to open it up and I have a blank slate right here. You can see the one that I made on the left already. In the blank slate, what you want to do is click edit scenes and that's going to let you add anything. The first thing we're going to add is obviously the webcam. That's a very simple, straightforward thing. There's me. This is pre-recorded ages ago. Yes. Hello, old drifter. You can click to drag it and put it anywhere. A lot of people put it in the right hand hand corner because it doesn't block anything for Call of Duty, but I'm going to put it in the left hand corner just to show you how easy it is to click and drag and resize. Obviously that's too big. Uh, I leave mine, you know, kind of about this size and we'll leave it in the left hand corner for now. And we can click the picture button to add any pictures. It'll add JPEG and clear PNGs. I'm adding a clear PNG of Boomi just to kind of show how this works. Uh, if you don't know what a PNG image is, please Google it. Just anything with a transparent background. And I can make the dog as big or as small as I want to hit save scenes and it's saved but there were a few other little options there, some things that might be a little confusing. So let's say that you have a bunch of images of your clan, your YouTube, your you know capture card, all that kind of stuff, and they're overlapping each other. In this case, I'm going to put Boomi on top of my webcam and hit save changes. That wouldn't make for a very good stream. You wouldn't be able to see my face, and sometimes you do have conflicting artwork. So when you go back to edit scenes, you have the option to click these little layer buttons to move them up and down layers so you can make sure that your webcam is on top of everything else or that your artwork is overlaying the webcam just just fine and that we're all good to go here now this is what I made previously I just had the background already good to go so I was able to drag and drop and resize drag and dropped in the webcam and the little frame just like we did with the dog except I was very meticulous about lining it up perfectly I didn't do that in this tutorial because it took a little bit just lining up my pixels and polishing and making it look great but once you have your background and your webcam on there you and your live commentary enabled you just play normally get a clip get a game whatever you like and then you record literally normally the same same way you always do with the flashback recording on Elgato's with the little capture down in the bottom left. And you can see as I scroll, it actually moves around and does things. And that's really it. It's just going to export everything into a raw file, just like you're about to see. Well, guys, that's all for the tutorial part of the video. So I thought I would leave it up as is and uh, <laughs> leave the little overlays up so you can see kind of what I'm working with here and how it looks when I do it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. We got all oh, that guy scored. Dagnabbit. And if you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And the giveaway here at the end of the video is a pretty straightforward one. It's a Twitter-based giveaway. Follow Elgato on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, tweet the tweet, that sort of thing. It's linked down there in the description. You'll be entered to win at random. It's all based on lottery. I'm kind of randomly just goofing about here, so that, that, that seems fair enough. Let's go for the boost slam! Ah, they already killed him. Oh, well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Drifter out.